was your first question that you ever asked me? I said, what's your biggest turn off in the bedroom? And I said, you. And you want to know why? Why? Because you're short. You're white. Your dick is small. You can see the bulge in your pants. You have size 8 shoe. Do you have size 8 shoe? No. <laughs> yes, you do. I size see 9. Oh, close. Bad teeth. Bad eyes. Bad hair. You don't even have a beard. And you're on King Street on Sunday. Yo, why she went in on him like that? Everything she said is fighting words. You talk to me like that. I'm calling my sister. I don't even have a sister. I had to call my cousin or somebody. Somebody with some poom poom between their legs is going to beat your ass. She told this man he got a small d I could see the balls. You can't say nothing after that. If she, you know what I'm saying? If she said I could see the balls, that means like, damn, cuz. That's disrespectful. What did you just say? What are you right now sitting out here doing? I'm minding my own business. What are you doing? I don't think you are minding your own business. Okay, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not really sure, but I'll figure it out. Okay, you figure it out. I'm probably where I live. Yeah, I yeah. live here too. Okay, so I'm probably at my house where I live. Okay, is this a Karen moment or is she flirting? Feel good? Did you, did you do what you needed to do? What the fuck are you doing right now? I'm standing outside my house. You're standing outside of my house. Why are you standing outside of your house? Doing what you're doing. I don't think that's any of your concern, what I'm doing. Well, you're doing something. Well, why don't you go back to your house and I'll be at my house. You sound like an idiot. You walked over from your house, standing in front of me at my house, yeah, trying did. to tell me I'm absolutely an idiot? Absolutely, I did. Okay, good job. So, what are you doing? I think I'm doing none of your fucking business. Bye. What did you just say? My boy. I don't think she was a Karen, my boy. I think she was she was trying to get some wood for that fire. You didn't catch the hint. I, she was flirting. She had the voice. Y'all did y'all hit her? What are you doing? You know, it, it wasn't. What are you doing? It wasn't that. That's Karen tone. That tone sound like she was trying to let somebody uh swim up in that pool. That's what that sounded like to me. Old head was flirting. He missed the mark. You missed yourself getting some of that denture free head. Some of that preparation age put. I sent this video to my mom. I was cleaning and um, you know what I do when I put your pants away, your jackets away, right? What's the first thing I do? Check your pockets because if there's cash, I'm keeping it. Because that's my motherfucking tip, okay? Anyways, I'm recording. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I want to say something. Um, because when my wife wash my clothes and she find money, she like put them up. And sometimes I'd be expecting her to take it, but she put it up. And respectfully, if it's money laying around our house and I don't know whose money it is. Well, if, if I know for sure it's not mine's, I don't touch it. The fact she's saying, I don't know, everybody's relationship is different, but I don't know how I would feel. If you just claim ownership of things in my pocket. This because I want you to see my reaction to what the f I think is in this motherfucking pocket right now, bro. Because you really got me all the way fucked up. All the way. Oh my God, my heart just fell into my motherfucking stomach, you guys. Their lens wipes to... This isn't even a TikTok. This is this is a message for you. This is a message for you, Christopher. Matter of fact, let me open this to make sure that it is a motherfucking cleanse. Oh, it is. All right, you go, baby. Have a good day. I love you. Sorry, I, I was a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. This, that shit not cute. Imagine thinking that there's a condom in your man's pants, right? And you go pick up the camera and hit record and set up a whole production just to open the pants up so you can go viral. 
And then you, it turns out that it was some hand wipes. You know what though? You was you, you a psychopath, so that probably good. Christopher ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Lame. Hmm? Open your eye. Okay, Sam. See this? Attack with game. Single plane. Put all your G force here. Right, right. You were doing this bullshit. Remember those years? 98, 99, 2000, I was knuckle champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You witnessed the power. Mm -hmm. You witnessed the power. So, mm -hmm. okay. Keep your name. This is it. Do or die. Open your eye this time. Oh. My name. Yeah. yeah, boy. Who has the power now? Hey, bro. Do you know how hard it is to punch a piece of paper and split it in half? That is crazy. On another note, I think when they start dubbing kung fu movies, they need to start using African voice actors. I feel as though the entertainment value will skyrocket. So I know I always flip it. I always talk about the raw bundles. Today we're talking about my I know wig I vendor list. Is, but I be thinking about them cheeks at night, so I'm okay. doing it. So stay he said, I'll be thinking thing. about them cheeks at night, so I'm like, doing it. She got three bites done, Add me as a four for me. Okay, anywho. This is the raw hair, babe. You might look into the least to the I used to watch their videos, bro. That's, That's Mozzie. I forgot her name, but I know his name is Mozzie. Well, I need to help for 30 seconds. Stay still. Stay still. Ooh, damn. Ooh, damn. Ooh, right. She burnt them. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Listen, real quick. Shit. Real quick. You just burnt my damn head. Don't forget you don't put these motherfucking cornrows in my head. Then pull the fucking wig down. Shit. And don't pop the damn leaves. <laughs> okay, let me show them scalp. Face the camera, Mozzie. You're making it more, you're making it last longer than it has to. It's giving scalp. <laughs> so I know I all Hey <laughs> My my wife ain't never put no wig on me, bro, but when I be having to help her take that shit out, I be hating that mother shit, dog. I be hating it. Be having to look through her mother cut all the threads out and make sure I don't cut her hair. I'm like, bro, I feel as though I've low-key become an expert at taking out weave and judging the quality of the person that did the hair. Because the last time I had to cut her shit out, it was it was real difficult. And I feel as though the, it's simply because the lady who did her hair last time was on some bullshit. It was random. It wasn't put together. She was just sewing wherever. Whereas before that, see, I sound, I sound gay. I sound gay. I'm gonna stop. A six ounce wagyu is fucking twenty dollars. And you're living for free in my fucking in yeah. my four thousand dollar a month apartment. So see, you're good. Are you paying for it? Are you broke? No, I ain't broke. You shut the fuck up. Let me. Let me get up. Let me get up. You chill out. Vodka. Let me get a vodka. Let me get a vodka orange juice. What did you just say? What you wanna do? Give me a vodka orange juice. Yeah. Let me chill out. Let me get a vodka orange juice. Yeah. 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 I'll give you the code of my thing, you get back. I don't, I don't want that. Bye. Yeah, bye. You're not bye. Me, I'm not intimidating anybody. If you're going to talk like that, you're going to be a little bitch. That's not how it works. You're like, what? What'd you just get mad about? Tell me what you just got mad about. Tell me you got the camera here. Tell me something about the price of food. I could share a bitch. What the fuck I want to say? You're bitching about the price of food. Who the fuck are you going to do? Don't hang out with me. Not with me. Because I'm not broke like you, then. I'm not broke either. Six ounce wet. Hey, yo, bro. All right, it says Joey Stacks gets punked by his millionaire friend for complaining about the price of dinner. Yo, that's not your friend. Joey, that's not your friend. Anybody who is willing to embarrass you in front of strangers, it's not your friend. The shit he's saying to him right now, he been wanting to say that. You feel me? 
If I was you, Joey, I'd get the f away from this man. A sap. A sizzap. You're staying in my $4,000 a month. Da 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 da. Nah, bro. I'm not broke like you, bro. Hey. Get away from him, bro. Get get far away from that man. He is not your friend, dog. That's crazy. I he has a lot of restraints because I would have punched this in his mouth. Let's say we were together. Would you tolerate cheating from me? Of course, I would. Now why is that? Um, because men biologically cheat. Because you can go sleep with a girl right now, and it's just pleasure. For example, we're surrounded right now by. A shit ton of amazing clubs. You can walk into the club right now, get super drunk, and just have a one night stand. But you're still coming home to me, sleeping with me, providing for me, and doing everything you're supposed to. It's just biologically made the men are gonna go ahead and cheat because it's just pleasure. You know what I mean? It's status basically when men cheat. But when women cheat, it's disrespect because when we cheat, it's a connection. Like we cheat with intention, we cheat with emotions. You guys don't cheat with emotions, we do. So. I don't think a man should stay with a woman that cheats on her. No, why wouldn't you feel insecure by finding out that I, you know, was blowing on all the chicks back out? Oh, as women, you're meant to be feminine and protective of the home and stay with your partner and take care of the kids. So if you're providing for me and doing everything you're supposed to, I will definitely tolerate cheating. But if it's a 50-50 relationship, it's like I'm your roommate. Why Why are you, like, down, making me downfall? Like, that's not, that's not cool. Let's say we were together. Uh, ladies and fellas, how how do we feel about what she's saying? Now, I'm going to be real. I do feel as though it's slightly a difference when men and women cheat. I'm not one of them red pill but I do feel that is a slight difference when men and women cheat. But cheating in general is wrong. But to hear her say what... To hear her repeat what a lot of men have been saying for years is crazy. After watching the video, I did go in the comment section and there was a lot of women in there saying that she has low self-esteem. Um, do you feel as though she have low self-esteem? Now see, this is why you never let a come stay in your mother's house. It's always some boy that come with it. No, Don't ever, man, listen. Tripping. I'm not tripping. No. I come in the house. No, I come in the house, y'all. So I come in the house, I open my room door. This come running out of my room and my husband's laying down in the bed she come running out of my room so what was she doing in there that's what i'm trying to say like that don't even make sense look i didn't took care of this i didn't fed this and now she's sitting here doing god knows what with my husband i come home then this is the second time that some shit like this that happened we watching them but you let her in here, though. We watching a movie. This man up. saying Please you let her up. in because here. we watching a movie, and I leave out the room. I come back in. This whole cut her up with my mother husband. Cut her up on the couch. And you think, look at this bitch. It's time for you to go home, because that's my home. Yeah. Not the cat. Not the cat. Now, see, this is why you. Hey. We had two cats. One cat was named Jasmine, and then the other cat was Isis. We didn't have them at the same time, so we had Jasmine when we lived in the city. We had Jasmine when we lived in the city, and <sighs> I miss Jasmine, bro. But Jasmine died. Like Jasmine actually jumped out the window in our our building. That's crazy. Jasmine jumped out the window of our building, bro. Actually, sad. I was I was hurt, bro. I really liked that cat, bro. I really liked that cat. Like that cat was cool as hell. I'll come home. As soon as I come home, I will lay on the bed. I might be watching Netflix or something like that. She'll come and lay and watch Netflix with me, or I might be playing the game. So I'll be playing the game, and she'll come and sit on my lap while I'm playing the game. I re I love that cat, man. So I was really hurt when she like. I don't know why she jumped out the fucking window. That shit was weird. I think she was trying to climb the ledge and fell off. Like, that, that, ah. And then the next cat we had was Isis. And Isis, I could not stand that cat. I don't know why. My wife was having, I think my wife was having withdrawals about Jasmine, like, dying or something like that. So she she went and got Isis. And Isis is antisocial. She used to hide like, it was just a weird-ass cat, bro. I, I did not like that cat. Well, Neil, 21. Oh, you went to your birthday? January 1st, New Year's Day. You saw so proud of that. that like, it was an accomplishment. Yeah, because it's like... It's my, a birthday. People don't you me. were just born. It is a fact, right? Go on. My birthday is always next year. 
It could, it could Wait, be the day before. My birthday is always next year. No, it's not. Everyone's birthday is always next year. Because oh, we about, all have don't a birthday me wrong. every you year. Me wrong. Go on. When's your birthday? October the 5th. Alright, on October the 4th, your birthday is next year. Oh, it's tomorrow. Yeah, so it's not next year. But me, the day before New Year's Day, it's still next year. Wait, I'm so oh, I get what he's saying. Ah, that's funny. Yeah, you are. I get what he's saying. Well, no, twenty-one. Oh, you went The day before his birthday is always the next year or the previous year. I get what he's saying. Ah. Wait, what is this called right now? What is this? Is that tequila? Yeah. So this is Tosoro. Tosoro Saka. That's it. We put Small. in eight ounce. Eight ounce. Okay. So you see us. You see now, us, but we're looking chuggy. Chuggy. Nah. <laughs> Ooh, eight. Ah, Ooh. Ah. I felt that. No, it's supposed to keep it warm, but is it her turn? Oh, it's her yeah. turn. Yeah. Hold on. She got this. Oh. Damn. Oh, very bitch. Mm. <laughs> Hey, 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 Yo, what does she have oh, on? Well, the rave, it's cold as fuck. That's why. Why they look like hookers? Yeah, because they're not too cold. Just oh yeah, you ain't got no clothes on. I mean, hey, hey, hey. we live and we learn. We yeah, we live and we learn. learn because we're not city girls. We try to be. Not it's yet. not for us. <laughs> we just learned that we like the warmth. We, we like, like being at home. Yes. We like being covered. We like smoking. Yeah, you know, exactly. chilling. Like... They say if you don't get cold, you're a. Oh, oh, exactly. Yeah, I know. No, Barely. you're not. We tried, we tried. You oh, failed at being a hoe? Yes. <laughs> Blame hey. your parents. Hey, you hey. hey. Your thank parents, you, man. mama. Thank you, mama. Like, she yeah. taught She taught us Facts. well. No, for real. She taught us well. She told us to go home. We're going home. Yes, because we're fucking exactly. home. We're going to these city girls because they're cold. We learned our lesson. Wait, what is this called right now? What did I just watch? That was a interesting interaction. Hey man, you like one of the first studs I ever seen on TV too. Like, you really like. Man, I paid the way. Paid the way. Like, I got shot. You though, the bro. first stud. That's why I chill. You I got, got shot. shot? Yo, Damn, you the what? And it came the, out the back. Hold on, I was, you got shot because of the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? Okay, so I was staying on Camelot Road. Oh, that's like, the hood. Ain't you, uh, woo -doo -woo -doo. I'm like, hell nah. So I guess a couple people <laughs> was outside talking. So the <laughs> came back and was like, did I want to buy a TV? So I'm like, nah. So the <laughs> stuck the pistol between the door like, where them 10 bands at? I'm like, nah, where them 10 bands at? Yeah, long story short, me and the <laughs> like, got to test me with the gun. He dropped the gun. I picked that <laughs> up. He had another gun on him, though. So mm. I, the gun he had, I started shooting. But the clip felt like the gun. And he seen it. Shot like twice. A long bit hit me. He dead though. Rest in peace. This story got dark. dark. This story has taken. Hold on. Did time. you kill her? Yeah, I had to. Wow. I don't even know where. This was in Atlanta. Was. Yeah, this was in Atlanta, Camelot Road. My and hood. the crazy thing is because on the show, Camelot Road you was is the hood, like, yeah. yeah. Like I got like you sent her ten bands or something, yeah. right? So like they thinking, oh, you got like, money, they thinking I got money, but I'm in the hood. My right, hood. Right, right, right. Okay, what's wrong? Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. in my hood. Like I was with my grown back then because I was making sure she good. But yeah, like the need feel they guilty. They brought me back. Yeah, they they brought me back on the show. Oh, they been taking care of me. Like, yeah, for real, show sure. because they feel bad for. Like, hey, man, you like one of the first studs I. Yo. First up. I've seen her before, like in real life. I'm not sure where. But Camelton Road is the hood. It is the hood. Okay? And I'm not surprised that happened. I'm sorry it happened to her. And I'm sorry that the dude died. But at the same time, bro, like... You have to be prepared to defend yourself at all times. Actually, shit, I gotta tell y'all a story. This is actually the end of the video, so I'm going to use this time to tell y'all a story. Um, so, last video, I believe I spoke about my car. And I thanked y'all because I said, you guys changed my life. Well, let me tell y'all a story of what happened the other night involving my car. Um, it's like 12.30 in the morning. I'm asleep. And I hear... A V8 engine startup. 
Okay, now I'm not gonna lie, having one of them cars, having a charger, you having a charger, a challenger, you feel me? Um as SRT scat pack, and now I'm guessing RTs, you you run the risk of somebody stealing your car. So when I got that car, I already had that in the back of my mind. Like, all right, somebody might come to get it. Okay. But at the same time, I felt as though, okay. I got an RT. So maybe people not really paying attention to it. Because nobody was really paying attention to my, v, my V6 like that. So I'm like, maybe nobody's really going to pay attention to it. I got a little RT, you know. Because I heard scat packs and SRTs, they coming for it. Okay. So anyway, I hit an engine. I jump out of my sleep. Because I'm like, yo, that sounds like my car. That's the first thing that popped in my mind. Oh, that sounds like my car. I jump out of my sleep. I walk to my son's room to look out the window and I see a green Challenger, bright green Challenger, right next to my car. Now, I'm going to explain it this way. The people that live, to, that live around me are older white folks. Okay? Don't none of them got nobody that's going to visit them in a bright green Challenger at 12 at night or 12 in the morning. So now I'm looking. I turn all the lights off in the crib. I go get my gun and I crack my front door a little bit and I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him, bro. Because in my mind, the moment one of them motherfuckers, whoever it is, jump in my car, I'm up in that bitch. You feel me? And I don't know if they kind of, it looks suspicious that all the light just automatically went off in the house. But I seen them back out and they pulled off. And since then, like, I've been on high alert, son. And the one thing I could say is if you get one of them cars, like, the cars are nice, bro. It's really nice cars. It's affordable horsepower, all right? Affordable horsepower. It rides smooth. I need to do, like, a video showing y'all how, like, explaining my version of, like, how I feel driving that car. Because I've seen a lot of videos of people talking about them cars, but they haven't, they don't really do them justice. They don't do them justice, bro. So anyway, I've been on high alert, bro. I've been on high alert before, but I've really been on high alert these past couple of days, bro. And I've been thinking that, I ain't gonna hold you. I've been thinking of like bringing that bitch back to CarMax and like getting a fucking Beamer or a Mercedes or something, bro. Who the fuck? gonna go through that shit like just just think about it bro and a lot of y'all folks been here a long ass time some of y'all was here when i was depressed as fuck over youtube and it wasn't doing that good y'all been here for that grind bro so imagine working hard as fuck and then it's claws in my my regular nine to five that i can't really tell y'all what i be doing but if y'all see the type of shit i be doing bro i risk my life every fucking day i go to work bro Every day I go to work, I risk my life. There's a chance that I could die at my job. I do YouTube and I work where I work, bro. And I use my money to, to treat myself. Now imagine you using your money to treat yourself after you do the type of work that I do. And somebody come steal your shit. I'm not gonna hold you. I was prepared to I was prepared to let them shells fly. But I do know the rules of engagement when it comes to pistols and like defending your property. So unless they shot back at me, I couldn't shoot at them. I do have that in the back of my mind.